Hello friends! Today's video is the first in a series of tutorials for my latest mini album collection. I've made this album with papers from Simple Stories. Decorative elements and stickers are from the same Vintage Ancestry collection. Another way to decorate scrapbooks is to make your own embellishments by using digital files available on Creative Fabrica's website. They offer a variety of freebies that can be used by crafters and designers. If you want to level up your work, I suggest a subscription which gives you full access to all designs on their website. By using link in the video description below, you will get access to all resources for just $1 a month instead of paying the full price of $29. I found beautiful illustrations which I will be using for my upcoming journaling and scrapbook projects. Please check the discount link in the video description below. And now let me show you how to make this mini album. Tutorial is divided into multiple parts. There is a list of measurements before each chapter. All measurements you will see on the screen are written in centimeters. Album covers are made from material called chipboard. Instead of it you can use cardboard or reuse old boxes. Covers and spine are wrapped in artificial suede. You can also switch the material for paper. I've made a special tool to help me measure an even distance between covers and spine. It's made from two chipboard pieces that are glued together at an angle of 90 degrees. Distance between covers and spine is 0.8 cm. glue that I'm using is made specially for artificial suede and artificial leather. It works amazing for book binding. With paper, I suggest using multi-purpose liquid glue that is acid-free or double-sided tape.
masking tape will help with attaching scrapbook paper to artificial textile material. I stained the edges with brown ink to give the album that old look. We are making the hinges from cardstock that weighs 300 grams per square meter. Hinges will allow pages to be attached to the spine. Score 1.5 cm 2 times, then score 1 cm. Continue with scoring a combination of 1.5 cm 2 times and 1 cm until the end of the paper. Fold together 1.5 cm spaces. This will be one hinge. 1 cm spaces will serve as a distance between two pages. Use liquid glue to stick together two 1.5 cm spaces that are next to each other. Make sure to skip 1 cm space before gluing together the next 1.5 cm spaces. Repeat the procedure until you create 6 hinges in total. Cut away the ends of 1.5 cm spaces. This way it will be easier to slide pages to the hinges. Apply glue on 1 cm spaces and glue hinges to the spine. Next, we are making 6 pages that will serve as a base for all elements and interactive cards. Base pages are made from 2 cardstock pieces that weigh 300 grams per square meter. Take large cardstock piece and score 1.5 cm on both sides. Apply glue on 1.5 cm spaces and attach smaller cardstock piece to them. Take two smaller cardstock pieces, score 1.5 cm. Apply glue on scored part, insert card into the cut line and glue it on the back side of the paper. Glue the entire element to the inner side of the front cover.
To create the envelope for second page, take a larger cardstock. Score 1.5 cm on three sides. Cut away corners where two scored lines cross each other. Cut the opening and glue side 1.5 cm spaces to the middle 1.5 cm space. Element on page 3 is called waterfall card. Take large cardstock piece for base, score 10.5 cm, 12 cm, 13.5 cm and 15 cm. Fold the paper on scored lines. Use a ruler and mark 1.5 cm from the first scored line that is at 10.5 cm. Glue smaller cards between 9 cm mark and 10.5 cm. Decorate the card with scrapbook paper and glue another cardstock piece between 10.5 cm and 12 cm. Glue the third card between 12 cm and 13.5 cm. And the last card between 13.5 cm and 15 cm. Take paper strip that is 2 cm wide, place it between the bottom card and large cardstock base. Fold it around edges and apply glue between two folded parts. Glue it between the bottom card and large cardstock base. 
glue both ends together on the back side of the large cardstock base. Make sure there is free space between the paper strip and cardstock base. Apply glue on paper strip and attach it to the base page. Take the first pair of magnets and glue them to the bottom cardstock piece. Decorate it with scrapbook paper. Place the second pair of magnets over the ones that are under the scrapbook paper. Apply double-sided tape on top of the magnets. Close the top part and magnets will stick to it. Decorate the top part with scrapbook paper. Glue the entire element to the base page. Element on page 5 is called flower envelope. We will need the compass to create it. Take a ruler and measure 9 cm on compass. Draw a circle with a radius of 9 cm on the cardstock. Place the needle on the circle's outline and measure 9 cm using a compass. Move the needle on 9 cm mark and measure another 9 cm. Continue until you divide the circle into 6 equal parts. Connect two marks with the line. There should be one mark between them. All connected marks will form two triangles or a star. Take a ruler and draw straight vertical lines starting from where two lines from before cross each other. Place compass needle on the point where the vertical line crosses the circle. Draw half circle from one star corner to another. Draw six half circles, then cut the flower shape from the cardstock. Take a scoring tool score the lines that form a star and vertical lines. Pull the paper on scored lines. Erase the pencil marks and close the flower envelope together.
For page 6, take brown scrapbook paper, cut 3 horizontal lines that are 14.5 cm long and 1.5 cm apart from each other. Insert 3 cards into the openings and glue them to the back side of the brown paper. Using a glue, attach two magnets to base page and cover them with scrapbook paper. Position the second pair of magnets on top of the ones that are under the scrapbook paper. Apply double-sided tape on top of the second pair of magnets. Close cardstock that is on the right side and magnets will stick to it. Cover the magnets with masking tape and scrapbook paper.
Take the largest cardstock piece, score 1.5 cm and glue it to the top side of a base page. Cut two horizontal lines that are 15 cm long into the third scrapbook paper piece. Insert two cards into the cuts and glue them on the back side of the brown scrapbook paper. Using a hole punch, create one hole in the top part and one hole in the brown scrapbook paper. You can also install eyelets in paper. Insert a string into the bottom opening. Secure it on the back side using the double sided tape. Glue the entire element to the base page. On page 11 is a pocket for the pull-out card. Apply glue to top, bottom and right side of the cardstock. Leave one side without the glue. This will be an opening for the pull-out card.
pull-out cards are made from cardstock that weighs 300 grams per square meter and are positioned in the opening of a base page. There are six pull-out cards in total. I decorated them with circle cutouts, ink and embossing powder. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss a tutorial for the next mini album from this collection and also consider becoming a member which gives you an early access to my new videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. I've been feeling this way for far too long